and just stun them basically as fast as possible because I'm pretty sure as soon as they grab onto you they either automatically kill you with three hearts or they leave you with like half a heart or one heart and you have to go up against another uh, floor master so yeah easy peasy lemon squeezy don't try to use bow and arrow with them you'll waste arrows and cry basically it's just a bad idea all right so backtracking complete damn it i wish i could have gone through oh my god bb you didn't do this perfect you completely forgot about your i've lost all faith in you in video it's just fucking you are an embarrassment to fucking gaming youtube society my god you fucking noob Oh my god, I've actually, literally on Ninbuzz, I literally saw a comment that was just like that. That was like, oh my god, why the fu- <clears throat> What was it? I put uh, oh wow, well, I should probably make a video about, uh, Goldeneye being finished on Ninbuzz. If, if anybody didn't know, hey, Goldeneye is now finished on Ninbuzz because I decided, hey, I have the footage on here, I might as well just edit it and send it in, and ta-da, it's uploaded. But yeah, literally one of the comments on there was like, uh, it was saying that, it, w it was making fun of me, I guess, because it was like, oh my god, why would you play the game on easy? And then I, I was like, hey, would you like me to like never say anything during the commentary and only say anything? Uh, if I curse or anything, because that's usually what happens when you play on ultra difficult modes. For some people, they can actually commentate over that, which, if you do, congratulations. I wish I was as cool as you, but, uh, the deal, oh, what is it? Alright, I'm gonna have to go back and straighten this out. Either that or I can jump over here. Well, let me see. No, it is. No, oh, wait, oh, it's on the side, so, yeah. Let's go back, but... I mean, my uh, argument was just that, is like, if, if I was going to play this on double agent, double agent mode, it was going to be really no commentary whatsoever besides me cursing out the game on certain parts, and wow, I took a fucking hit, and, uh, and it would just be, it wouldn't be as entertaining as me doing normal commentary on, on this, so, on, on easy mode, and then, he backed that up by saying, well, why do you, why would you fucking upload YouTube videos if you can't play the game on the hardest difficulty? Or it, it, it wasn't that specifically, but he was like, but why would you upload this if you aren't playing on hard? And I'm just like, wow, really? What has, what the fuck has happened to YouTube? Like, literally all of a sudden, there is a, there is a literal, literal, yeah, I can't even fucking speak. There is a literal requirement to play the fucking game. Apparently, you have to be ultra godly at a given game to play it. Otherwise, you can't even put it on YouTube. Or apparently Ninbuzz, for that matter, because Ninbuzz is just full of fucking pros. I mean, Jesus Christ. I don't know what it is, but... I was, I was just dumbfounded that you literally... That some people literally think that... In order to do a playthrough of a game or something like that, you have to be good at the game. And that goes against my ideal, which is, uh, if anybody knows, I mean, you, all, it's, it's about fun. Isn't that what YouTube is all about? It's about fun. It shouldn't be about, oh my god, this guy is so fucking uber awesome at the game. My god, it's just amazing. That guy is just a fucking yuck. Uh, he's just like, I don't know. It's... I guess I can't explain it that well, but it's just, I find it really stupid that people would think that. I don't know. I just find it dumb. Okay, so, yeah, we have this puzzle. Frozen Eye plus Fire in the very middle equals easy puzzle. Derp to derp. So basically what you do is you aim at the eye and wait for the fire to uh, go in front of you. You don't... Uh, what is it? People would think, hey, you aim uh, at the fire and then you wait for the eye to align. No, nah, not really. Oh, I should probably shortcut my way. Jump on this. Jump on that. And also, that's apparently a sea of blood. I don't know. Something like that. It's pretty fucking creepy. 
If there's anything that's creepy about this, uh, this temple is that there is a literal little lake bed of blood surrounding that thing. I wonder what happens if- I've, I've never fallen in. I wonder what happens if you do. I don't know. Okay, so now we're playing chess, herp -a derp And that will fall periodically while you're running around. Like there. So don't... My fucking... <laughs> Okay, believe it or not, even if that is extremely uh, immature, I I find that funny. I really do. Alright, so I'm gonna kill these guys. Let me try, let me attempt to kill these guys because they got the, yeah, there we go. I don't see any more movement. Hmm. Maybe. If I bait it out. Oh, it's rough. <laughs> Good game, me. Alright. So, yeah. Just bait it out and figure out where to go. So, yeah, we're just gonna run straight for this. Away, and then we're gonna run straight for it. There we go. It takes care of that. All right, so this is the uh, what's in here? I don't think it really matters. This is the third Poe uh, deal. It's a little bit different. Uh, well, you ba basically what you do. Well, I guess I'll explain as we do it. Shoot an arrow at that. Just like it, it works, kind of like you know. That's how you would defeat it, but then what you have to do is complete the uh, the cube puzzle to for this Poe. And there are five blocks and only four of them completed, and it, it should be pretty easy to understand that this one is the odd one out, and yeah, you just pull out of the way. And you finish it. You finish the puzzle. Should be pretty easy. For some people, they are thinking, oh my god. I have to set it up like this, and then yes, and it's so fucking hard. And I'm pretty sure what they do, uh, is they're like, uh, if you fail it, then they flip it over, and then they give you extra time. Which, I mean, good game if you have to do that, but whatever. So yeah, you do that, then it appears, and you fight it just like you would any Poe. Nope. Yep. Oh, me. There we go. Just do it just like you would any other. Do it. <laughs> sexual joke. Sexual innuendos for the fucking win. I wonder if anybody's actually being extremely offended by this, by me making fun of people that would find that funny. Because I'm not, I'm joking. I don't know. But some of you people, I think I've said this before, some of you people are pretty loaded stupid, but I'm pretty sure they don't care regardless. I've, I've learned that over the years. They don't give a shit if they're retarded or not. Or you, sometimes you can't even tell if someone's trolling or not. I don't know. Crazy shit. I'm pretty sure we don't need the freaking ocarina anymore in this, uh, in this temple. So yeah, we're nearing the end. It's been pretty, it's been real. But yeah, we got three out of the four pose, and yeah, there's the last one, right there in the middle. And this one works just a little bit different, well, actually a lot different than the other pose, but it's still not that hard to understand. Yeah, this Poe uh, replicates itself, but the kicker is the one that spins around is the one that is the one that is the real one. And you have to hit it with a bow and arrow or the the hook shot because it'll move with you, which means that you can't slash it with your sword. It'll, it makes it impossible. And I guess you should just do it with your hook shot because, hey, uh, they're within range and it doesn't waste ammo because, hey, infinite hook shot. Other than that, it's really easy. They actually, uh, they made it 
pretty difficult in Majora's Mask because they didn't give you like this overhead view. It was actually like literally level with with, with where you are, so it was kind of difficult to figure it out, but right in this game it's just it's piss easy. So yeah, there we go. That is the nut that is the temple in the nutshell. So yeah, time to finish this. Oh yeah, and like I said, the lighting it's now lit up because of the torches. Good game, Nintendo. I appreciate your actual interest in making this game pretty. I, I don't know. It doesn't have to be realistic, but I mean, it looks cool. I think it's cool. So what you gonna do? Okay, so yeah. Final puzzle before the boss. We gotta have the boss key, so we don't have to worry about that. But we, we have to... We basically have to hit all the switches in order to... Uh, we have to hit that switch, which we have to... Yeah, we just have to hit a bunch of switches in order to open that thing. So, what we're gonna do... The, the kicker with this one is the... Let's see. Is that these things, I'm pretty sure... Well, let's see. No, they move along... Uh, they move along with it, so... I don't know. You, you kind of... You just hit the switches. You just keep on moving it around until you find a switch that you can open. And then red switch. So, let's see. If we push it this way, then the red switch will be active. Oh yeah, there's also a uh, golden skull chilla. And, uh, you know, yeah, you can tell there's a golden skull chilla in, the, in this area, but yeah. So, I guess just based on the clue that it's either blue or red, you figure out where you go next. So yeah, the next one's blue. So we have to push, uh, I think we, yeah, we're, we're pushing the floor under us by pushing on these things. That's the best way to explain it, I suppose. So yeah, just push it until the blue one's active, and that should be the last switch, I'm pretty sure. I don't know, it might be. That it? Yeah, it is. So, open that gate, and now it's time for the boss. Which is a pretty fun one, in my opinion. It's it's decent. I'm trying no. Well, oh yeah, there is that uh, that one rainbow attack thing that it does, but you have to. I don't know. It's difficult to get him to do it, but whatever. <clears throat> Just simple stuff that you, I do in my spare time. So yeah, here we go. Walk in here. Herp a derp. There is no Bosch. Herp a derp. I guess I'll just leave. No, you will not. Hey, what's up, bro? And people will think, hey, you're coming out a little early. Is the game already over? No, it's not. He's just trolling. Phantom Ganon, evil spirit from beyond. All right, so the first part of this is where he comes out of these paintings randomly. Basically, the easiest way to do this is to stand in one of these corners, wait for him to go into the middle. Oh wait, actually, oh, I guess you can't shoot him when you do that. Oh well. What you do, yeah, you just you stand in one of these Triforce corners because the lightning will never uh, hit you. You find out where he is, or which painting he's coming out of, and then you shoot. I'm failing right now. So let's see. Just kind of wait and figure out. He comes out of uh, two paintings. One of them is fake and one of them is not. There we go. And your, your objective is you're supposed to hit his horse. Because once he gets off his horse, then the next part of the fight begins. Oh, this should be easy. There we go. Got him. One more time, and he gets off his horse. I'm pretty sure. Some people find it difficult because they're like, Oh my god, where do I go? You just stand in the Triforce corner. Right, there we go. So, now we fight him, actually. And what he does is he, he we basically play a game of tennis, and he kind of the first shots are like practice. If you can get one on him this early, oh there we go. 
then good for you. But he actually he starts laughing when the actual thing begins. Because all of these are supposed to miss. There we go. But if you can actually if you if you get close enough, then you'll be able to actually hit him. So yeah. There we go. Now he starts laughing, he gets up pretty far away from you, and the actual tennis game starts because he hits it back. And the longer it goes, the longer he's stunned. Oh, and I basically just cheesed it because of that trick. So, yeah. <clears throat> really easy. Hey, kid, you did quite well. It looks like you may be gaining some slight skill. Yeah. I know, right? But you have defeated only my phantom. When you fight the real me, it won't be so easy. Except it will, because I'm going to use the same exact trick. And you're probably going to die a little... Almost as fast. Or a little more creation. That goes close. I will banish it to the gap between dimensions. Oh, that sucks. He's going to turn into a nobody. Yeah. Oh. Even though they're called realms and not dimensions in Kingdom Hearts. Whatever.